Lucia Steinhaus, <laughs> congratulations, you have a world bronze medal. How are you feeling right now? Uh, yeah, really good. Yeah, um, I felt really good um, going into this competition. I really fit, so um, yeah, it feels great to, to end with a throw and to, to um, yeah, get some couple of, couple of throws in, and that, that always feels, feels nice. How did it feel to, to actually have um, in, in the in the bronze, for Kirk in the bronze? <laughs> What's that like? Um, it's familiar. Uh, I just heard that we fought 15 times so far, so that's uh, that's a crazy amount. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> familiar is definitely the word. <laughs> uh, it was a really nice moment at the end. What yeah. were you guys saying to each other? Uh, I just I, I told her that I was really proud of her and uh, she's so strong and uh, and she's a kick-ass at the Olympics. So yeah, it was a really nice moment. What's it like to, you know, she was obviously world champion, what's it like to, um, to sort of follow in her, her, her footsteps and be such a powerful force at this, in this weight category? I'm not a world champion yet, but I hope uh, that they will come soon. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I was a little kid, like, uh, watching her in 2009. I was in Rotterdam when, uh, when she became world champion. I was cheering for her like crazy. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just really special. And, uh, yeah, we get along fine, and uh, it's always kept me hungry, like uh, having a competitor in the in the Netherlands as well. Uh, when you lost earlier in the day, obviously that's a dis disappointing because I imagine you were here for mm -hmm. gold. But w so, what do you do once you've had that disappointment? Because you can't go into a fight feeling disappointed. How do you how do you pick yourself up? Um, yeah, I have, I have like cues for myself uh, to um, boost my confidence back up again, and like really. Um, uh, focus on the next fight because all you can do in the end of the day is, is focus on your next fight and you can maybe be sad about uh, the loss like later because that's not helping you win the next fight so uh, <laughs> would you mind yeah. sharing those cues or are those secrets that's very secret they're very secrets very okay, secret. okay <laughs> so um what are you going to do oh actually first i'm going to talk about this you received um mm -hmm. a huawei smartwatch yeah. as a part of your smaller one prize. but yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, <sorry>. yeah. <laughs> but uh, so what what uh, what do you think about this prize receiving this prize and, and how do you intend to use the watch um yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Um, I, I don't owe a smartwatch yet, so uh, I'm curious to try it out and uh, we'll see how, how I can use it, maybe for conditioning or something. Um, how are you going to, uh, what are you going to do? Is it either different or the same between now and Tokyo, uh, mentally and physically, to, to make sure that you get the gold in, in Tokyo? Uh, well, after the Europeans, I heard that I was going to the Olympics. Um, so ex that was kind of a relief for me. But um, so now it's, it's, it's uh, really important to build up, oh, build up, the, <laughs> build up the, and, and a different kind of focus again for the Olympics, of course. Um, but like, I think my trainings are going really well and I have confidence in my, uh, my trainer staff. So um, I think I, uh, I will have a couple of good uh, more weeks and then uh, hopefully shine in, uh, at the Olympics. Thank you so much, Lisa. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you.